Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Aaron Dearborn and I'm glad you joined me today because we're going to be talking about action cameras and where you should place them on your bike. Now I'm doing this video for a school project, but since it applied to motorcycles and track day riding, I figured, why not? I'll do one for you guys too. So first we'll talk about the cameras themselves. Now I use an assortment of GoPro cameras, the Hero Session, the Hero 7 Black, and the GoPro Fusion 360. Because I run a YouTube channel, I have multiple cameras. Every single one of my cameras I have bought used. Nothing costs over $200. Everything was bought off of a Facebook Marketplace deal, some online used retailers, or Amazon old stock. Now the reason why I use the Sessions is because you can place them sort of anywhere on the bike. They're very small and compact, and if you damage them or otherwise lose one in a crash, it's not that big of an investment loss. The GoPro Hero 7 I use because it has image stabilization, it has 240 frames a second, which means slow-mo. It has a lot of other features as well as an LCD screen on the back and a high resolution 4K image. Now the GoPro Hero Fusion, I love it for its 360 view. It's something you don't see very often. I put it on the tail of the bike or up here on the front where I can capture a nice 360 image so you can get all around action when I'm in the races. So another thing that you want to think about when placing your cameras on the bike is actual view that you're going to see. So are you going after rider assessment? Then you probably do something like a gas tank map. Or a triple tree map. If you want to just capture images for the front of the bike, that's easy. You put a traditional placement on the front of the bike. But make sure you safety wire it to the frame, otherwise you're going to lose that camera. A couple of non-traditional mounts are ones on the side of the bike looking rearward or on the front of the bike looking down at the front suspension. Now some people take that placement and actually turn the camera backwards, which is okay, but you have to be in front of people for that to be interesting. Usually I'm not, so I don't do that. That's why I use a 360 camera on the tail more often than not. But again, safety wire to the bike, that way you don't lose that camera. Now when you're getting into other unusual mounts, the actual chin mount is something that's a little bit controversial. To the chin of the helmet and then you use adapters to get them to actually point the camera in the right direction. The problem is that some track day organizations don't like you doing this because it's an attachment off of the helmet. So if you crash now you have this pivot point for your head or neck to get hurt when you hit the ground and it puts your head off in the wrong position. For myself I wear it when I can, when I can't I don't. Pretty simple. If you guys like this content, please comment below, tell me what you liked about it, hit that alert bell, subscribe, that'd be fantastic. That's the only support I ask for on this channel. I don't ask for money, I don't have an affiliate, I don't have a GoFundMe, I don't do that crap. I pay for all this myself. So anyway, if you guys feel like supporting me, the support is subscription. That's it, thank you very much, have a good day.